In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the canvas mode in ChatGPT. So the canvas mode lets you edit only certain lines within a piece of ChatGPT output. This is really helpful if you're doing coding or technical writing, or you just get frustrated from when you produce something in ChatGPT and you want to make edits, but you don't want it to rewrite the whole thing. You only want to target certain bits. In order to access the canvas mode, in ChatGPT, we click on Tools and we select Write or Code. When we do that, we see that the Canvas icon comes up. And now when we run a prompt, and we'll just put a prompt in there, when we run the prompt, we'll notice that it looks a little bit different in the output. The output appears in the middle of the screen, and then off on the left, we have our prompt window. But we can use that prompt window to just edit certain parts of this output. So I've got some output here, it's got some R code, and I want to edit only this bit with par and MF row. I want all the rest to stay the same. So rather than having it rewrite everything, I can put in a prompt and I can say, I want to change rows. In this case, it's going to be 17 and 21. And I want to use a patchwork package instead of par MF row. I also wanted to continue using just regular plot. So we're being nice in particular about the rows we want and what we want it to do. And so when I run that, what we'll see is that a little cursor scans down through our current output and it makes the edits that we asked for. So we can see that it has made some edits and it only edited down in the area that we're interested in we can see that it has added the patchwork package and it is now outputting the plots into that rather than how it had it before. If I'm not happy with what it did, we can roll back to the previous version. The other nice thing that we have in the canvas mode is the show changes. So if I click on show changes, then it can show me in red what it removed in that iteration and in green what it added. So I can track how things are getting changed as I make these edits. As usual with ChatGPT, we've got our little copy button. We can also download and share this output. And if I want to make more edits, then I can just come back down and I can request whatever further edits I would like. This has been the canvas mode in ChatGPT. Anytime you're using ChatGPT to write code, I would encourage you to use it but also for things like technical writing or getting it to write things where you know there will be little edits, but you don't want to do a whole rewrite every single time. Then it's a really nice handy mode for using to get those edits in. The other really handy thing is that you yourself can also edit within the canvas. So if I click up here, I can go and I can just type and I can edit as well. So in addition to getting ChatGPT to edit just in specific locations, you can type into this as well. So you can add your own different bits and pieces. In the case of code, it might be changing variable names, making little adjustments, maybe adding to the comments. And then you can ask it to do some more edits and you can work together more closely with ChatGPT as well as your own writing skills. Canvas mode is available across all of the different versions of ChatGPT, even the free one. And I've noticed that it's one that not all that many users actually know about. So hopefully this has been informative for you. If you like this video and found it helpful, you might like this other video I did showing how ChatGPT can do statistics and data analysis next. Thanks for watching.